Stan and all of that thing, I'm supposed to put it in. I think it's in your bed. He's mad. He, you know when he's not strong, yeah. but he's not weak. Yeah. But Johnny's just there. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> She's waiting for me. Like, ah, nigga, put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to put it in. I yeah, man. I'm busy fetching nah. it, but it's in, man. It's in. But, like I but, can feel it, but it's not, man. Like, but it's not. Like, but you don't know the experience. You don't know what's happening. No, I know my thing. When you shower my brother, when you shower hot water, then then it goes down. You see you like oh. yeah. And I know it. when you just try to play it yourself, you know yeah. when it's, it's like and it's strong when and it's okay. handsome. So when I was there, I was in it. Yeah. Eh, my baba jarukula him bacha danuna shiti. Uh uh. Oh, you mani ma amgelaga, the channel that matters. <laughs> the channel that matters the most. Oh, 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 oh yeah, it's possible. So, we to share his life. And hopefully, it will inspire you and your exes, by the way. Oh, and <laughs> let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good, I'm, I'm good, good, I'm good. So, please tell the people who are you, where do you, where do you come from in the end that you got? Yeah, uh, come to Kazite. You from some time when I'm pretty sure. But the one time I was one, man, get to Josh, who get my friend in Anna Pan, and a piece of the moving good. So, yeah, uh, I'm from Alex. I was born and in Alex, uh, but now I'm open in Abraham because of, of school, and yeah. You, you you were born in Alex. Yeah, I was born in Alex. What, when they say what, born what? in bread, I don't know whether it's the bread of the bread <laughs> or it's bread of I don't know which bread. I mean raised. Yeah. Nah. So mm. wait, when the bread raises or what? It's not like like you're a breadwinner. So it's the person who provides bread for you to grow up. So the breadwinner in bread means you're raised in Alex. That's how I take it. What do you think of it? Yo, I don't know. I, yeah. Let's just pass that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the tribe? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm Zulu. My mom is Zulu. My dad is in the belly from Zim. So I'm half Zulu and half uh, Zimbabwe. Makes sense why you are here, I think. Ah, uh, not really. If you, if you would have said it makes sense why I have a long, you know, I would have understood. But yeah, you won't know. But yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. So you, 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 you are those type of Zulus. Your Zulu is, un- is understandable. It makes sense that you are from Alex because usually they call people from Houghton fake Zulus. Yeah, I like. I think it's just Jobek Zulu people, man. Laba who say an egg ita and like it's you know. So yeah, man. I like. I used to go to those kind of Zulus. Like, like I used to, used to attend the same school as them. And when it's spelling time, yo, you'd laugh. Yeah. You, you'd see kids in grade twelve getting. 3 over 10 because they can't really spell like it's like they have a different dialect or yeah like from the one that you would have in Cape Verde you know so even the words are not the same they create their own words words like guamele you know such such a word is not existing in Isizulu but to so it's just on how things are done in job and so it is in Zulu. Okay, I have this problem. I'm not telling you. I think I've won. You have seen me in many things when, and I chilled with you in many places. So I had to tell these people when someone speaks, I have this disability of doing this. So it means I, I'm not reacting to his uh, answers. It's my disability. I'm not saying feel sorry for me or blah, 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 blah. Yeah, So, my man, I want you to take me through your journey from the beginning where you started recognizing yourself. Which school did you go to? Primary. So primary I started in Alex. So there was a school called Ewukanyiswe mm-hmm. Primary School. Mm-hmm. So I went there from grade one up until grade six. Mm-hmm. And I remember back then it was a system where it was pass one, pass all. So at school I was never really that smart. 
you know <laughs> i'm telling you so, <laughs> i love you no so there are not many people who admit it hey, now i'm not smart <laughs> yeah <laughs> i want for sure know that yeah, i really wasn't smart in any way you know because mm. the last time i properly passed the grade myself it was grade three mm-hmm. yeah when my mom tells me so from grade four i remember very whenever we do all of these tests out feed you know we'd write like we'd write there was this test called anna yeah yeah write, like the anna and then like yo you would see you could things are bad I, like i don't like I, I think when we were done writing our anna i took mine and then i i never submitted i put it in a bin or anything so i knew myself that i was never smart man so from grade one to grade six i was just in that school and then from grade six uh, I had to leave the school because of, I think there was family issues that were happening. I think it was also the same time where I had lost my father. So it was just a really huge turn in, 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 in how things were. So in, in Alex, now you were staying with your dad and your mother? So in Alex, I was staying with my stepfather and oh. my mother. So it was me, it was my younger sister by then my mom and my stepfather and then later on uh came my other brother and then yeah there's a time went by i think two years back another brother came in okay so for, 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 from that point in time what was your dad doing where was he to you so my dad was sort of raising me from a distance i think he was based in here in in, in, in jordan city so what happened is that my mom and my dad separated, I think, when I was very young. Then my mom moved on, found another love, and then met with my stepdad. And then, sorry, and then my dad then started, like, I'll see him sometimes. So the kind of relationship that I had with my dad was one to say, if I'm bored or if I want to talk to him, if I want to see him, I might just ring him up, you know, yeah. give him a phone call, and then it's going to come, be chill, do anything that I want to do. So with my stepdad, we were staying in the same house. So we were not really favorite to one another. As as one. It was just that thing to say, hey, you are my stepdad, I'm your stepson. That's it. That's the line. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So you know, sometimes you know, uh let me not bring my issues. But I want you to to, to, to give me this perspective you know? So sometimes your stepdad will would be maybe I'm mean, just giving an example. If he does something, would he do it for all of you or will he do it for his kids? Or what was the arrangement then? Yo, so I think, so before my dad passed away, mm-hmm. I'd say things were happening. Like I, I, I really didn't see much of the difference in my, like in my siblings and, you know, like in me and my other siblings. Because I still had my dad was present, so he gave me money give me everything I was happy and they were yeah but I think after my dad passed away that's when I saw really that line to say certain things in the house belong to certain people mm-hmm. certain people have certain privileges and it was just never the same <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. so yeah I, was, I, I saw that things were never the same and you know whenever maybe if we were to be given money I would get Five friends when others are getting hundred friends. I think that's how it was. Yep. So I really saw now that yeah, this man is really not my father, and even his actions were blasting that like out loud to say you are not my son, and you never be. So it was just tough. Okay, raise your voice a bit. So uh, 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 at that point in time, no? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> When we started this life, he said he wanted his crush to see. <laughs> now he's stopping the life. <laughs> I'm sure she's okay, in now. Let me not stop it. Well, I don't have a crush. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a crush, but yeah. So, uh, what happened to your dad? Like, was he sick? Or is there something? <coughs> like, when maybe if he was sick, did you visit him? Or were you given money to go see your dad when he was sick? Or when he was in the hospital? Or if, if that was the cause of that? Oh. 7 July 2009. Okay. Actually, 5 July 2009, yeah. Yeah. So, what happened is that, so I told you that my relationship with my dad was one to say, my son, if you need me, if you need me to come or anything, just give me a call or come. 
Yeah. So it happened that I was bored. I think it was a Saturday. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I was bored, and then I so back then we were using public phones. So I went to the public uh, phone, gave them one rand, and then I made the phone call. So I was like, ah, dad, I'm bored. Include who's like who's on board? Just come and see me, give me some money. I was like, okay, sharp, I'm coming. I'll be there in like an hour. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, sharp. So when I made that call, because he said he'll be there in an hour, I was just down the road, you know, mm-hmm. just having some fun, playing with my friends, because I was still waiting for my dad to come. Mm-hmm. And Alexandra, man, is it's a place where we live by gunshot every day. It's always open, but like it's gunshot. I think even recently in the news, we saw that yeah, yeah. three days back, that the, like, it was a, sh- a, sh- a shooting where six people died. Yeah. And yesterday I was also talking to my friend who told me that uh, one of his previous tenants got shot, you know. Yeah. So that didn't make it to the news because I think there was just two or three people that got shot that other day. Mm-hmm. So it was during the day I hear gunshots up in the air. I, I think they were like four. Mm-hmm. Bah, 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 bah. But I'm like, ah, it's Alex, man. This thing is really yeah. it's normal. So after a few minutes, I so my dad will come and park in the main road of Alex called London Road, Vincent Chabalan. Mm-hmm. And then I saw that where we usually meet, man, it's too packed. Mm. I'm like, hey, let me just go up there. Being curious as a kid. Yeah, yeah. I go up there, I see his car. So his car was written, like, so he had a, a, a business, you know. I think it was a business of blastery on, on rooftops, all of those things. And, like, I really don't know on what exactly was it, like, about, but, like, it was somewhere around that. So I see the car, it's written, Kazita is what one. I'm like, hey, what's happening? I see my uncle, there were like three oh, of Kazi them. Is, he's foreign transcendent. Kazi is, yes. Oh, okay. So I, I, I see my uncle, I'm like, what's happening? When I look in the front seat, there he is. He was shot dead four times. Oh. So uh, at, the, at that time, I can still remember, there was a lot that was just happening in my head. So when I saw that immediately, I cried. Hmm. And then where the shooting happened, to the shack where we were staying in, the distance was like uh, a few seconds away. Mm-hmm. So I went there first. I got inside there. My mom was in there. My stepfather is in there. And then I was so frustrated. The only thing that I remember doing, I I took the TV. It was one of those big TV. I held it like this. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to smash it to the floor, but I didn't. Mm-hmm. And then same time, after a few seconds, I went out to the scene again. When I was going out to the scene, I saw my stepfather taking his four cars. Other, like, so we were driving them, the one that was in front, mm-hmm. and then three other cars were also like going out. You know? So I think that's when I knew that he's the one who did it. But I think I was too angry. I really never understood what was happening because I was 10 by then, yeah. only 10 years old. How old are you now? Uh, now I'm 23. Okay. So, <laughs> so I, 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 I go back to the scene, I find the cops, now I'm here, and then I open the, the car door, the cops are like, what are you doing? I'm like, no, this is my father, and I'm like, okay. They're like, we're taking you to the clinic, do you want to go with us, like in the van, or you want to go with him? I'm like, no, I'll go with him. Yeah. And by that time, I was already dead. So the, the last time I saw my father, his, his eyes were wide open, and his head was in my hand like this. Then we went to the clinic, and then we were like, yeah, no, your father has passed away. And then the police took a statement of what I saw, what do I think happened, and all of that. And that was the last time I saw my dad. That was like the last, last time I saw my dad. Yeah, I can understand. Like that's the last thing. Every time you think of him, that's the first thing that comes. Yeah. So like I, I understand the permanent trauma you're going through. Even today, like every time you try to think of him, that's why I, I I don't encourage people to go see the person when he's in the courtroom, because every time you think of the person, it's kind of like Ish. that's the first time that that's the first thing that comes into your memory. Yeah. So, have you ever found a confirmation that your stepdad killed your stepdad? Uh. Confirmation, I like I like it was known. I think it was something that was known. Uh, if you say confirmation, I, I don't know whether you mean confirmed by the police 
Yeah, Sami was he arrested. Yeah, and... also like he, so he went into hiding. Uh-huh. Uh, so when you go, you see KFC in downtown. Yeah. There's that tall building next to the railway. Uh-huh. So that's where he was hiding. I think he hid there for like weeks. Uh-huh. So my mom knew, everyone knew. I also knew where he was hiding. Because uh-huh. what happened is that I think a few days after the the, the, the incident, I went to the garage to buy electricity. And when I looked at the like the newspaper, the local newspaper, he was in the uh, thing in the front page with my stepdad. And I remember that time I I even forgot to buy the electricity. I took the newspaper, I ran to home, and then I showed my mom to say, "Look, Abo, he is my like my stepfather. Like they, he's on the front page and all of that." My mom took the paper when she saw him to say, "Cops are now looking for you because they know that you did it." And all of that, mm-hmm. and I think they found him after a few weeks, and then he was arrested. Mm-hmm. But the funny part is that it didn't even last three months. He came, yo. Then he came back, and remember, me and him, like we never liked one another from the get go, even when my father was still alive. Yeah, cause he would do traumatic stuff, man. My father would give me money. Mm-hmm. There was this other time, whatever that my father came here, I think it was like two hundred and something. Yeah, I bought like fries, chips. Uh, and then I had the other money, so he, so I was sitting somewhere near our home. And then he came along, and then he asked me to say, "Where do you get this?" I said, "No, my father gave me money. Mm. He took soil from the floor like this, and then he put them inside my shoes, and then he said I must eat." <laughs> and then I had to throw them away because I wasn't gonna eat. The other time, my father gave me money. I think I bought cold drink and something. I had like a toilet note, and then it was like. Where the money that he gave you, I showed him to you. I, I, I took the money and then I, I gave it to him. So it was a 200 rand note and then he took it and then he teared it like this. And then he put it in a glass. I still remember that glass. It's one of these long glasses. And yo, it, like things that will happen to me, man, they were very painful. So just imagine now if someone kills your father, he comes back to live with you. You know that he hates you. So, 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 your mother was still staying with him. Even after you came back, yes. was she not scared one day she would kill you guys? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, were you able even sometimes to talk with your mother about the issues that you had with him? No. Why? I think I'm one person who grew up hating my mom, because I realized that man, a lot of things happened to me, and my mom was there, but she was not like she was never there. You know, she like she experienced me being beaten up, me like being all of these bad things happening to me. But she never did anything, you know. And sometimes I feel like as a parent, I understand if you can't maybe give me the world, you can't take away the pain that I have. But to just show me a sign of saying that I'm here, I can't give you money, I can't give you whatever. But feel my love, you know. As a parent, I think that's one thing that we all deserve. We turn to lower mama, that's what they call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. To say, <laughs> if you never, like, that mother's love, man, to say, you know, even if you don't have anything, even if the world in Jobek and Bram can teach you and then you feel like you're low, but whenever you pick up the call and just hear the voice of your mother, you'll feel like, no, man, you know what? Actually, there's something that I have to do for everything will be okay, you know? And it's not like she would have gave you money when you're struggling in Bram, but hearing a voice, man, you can feel to say, to call and at the time with my mom. So I Con- confirm if this is true. Was your step there to take you on? Yeah. So later, like at like at a later stage, after he came out of prison, he became a taxi owner. Before he went to prison, he was gonna take you on. Before he went to prison, he just had a tub and a shipin, we had a shipin, and then he was a loan shark, and then he also had so there are these old firms where white people live in like like their factories. So mm-hmm. when they left the hood they left them empty. Mm-hmm. Then people started building shacks inside. Mm-hmm. So you, everyone was staying there used to pay a rent to him. Oh. So let, let's wrap it up. Don't you think your mother was trying to protect you? Because sometimes you, know, you can be in love with someone, right? but you are scared. If I leave or I do something to this guy, this guy is going to kill me. And if you lose your mother, you lose everything in your kids. So don't you think at some point, or at all times we're t- trying to protect you because no no woman would be happy no mother would be happy seeing her kids beaten by any other person 
it matters not who the person is. You get what I mean? Yeah. Don't you think so? Thinking of it now, I think I think that was the case, you know. But because remember also I was a child, I was ten. The way you interpret things when you're ten, man. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. the same when you think about it now. Yeah. Because yeah, when sure. I think about it now, I like I do feel that at some point she must have been scared of her life. Because when I had conversation with my other aunt, it turned out that my stepfather, my father wasn't the only person that might have got killed by my stepfather, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think she was scared, you know, she might, like maybe she tried her all to protect me. But at the time, I don't think I felt there any anything. protection. Yeah, I, I don't think I felt the protection. Like you felt like you were given to the world, like yeah. king, something like that. I was just thrown into the World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> when I had a spoon, not even a knife, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, we're done with the part, man. Uh, l- 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 let's go back. Uh, from grade six, what? So from grade six, I went to KZN. Uh, oh, your family in KZN? Yeah, yeah. So, like, so where we are from, like, originally KZN. Yeah. And you can say. Mm-hmm. And then where. So my mom came to Joburg to look for work, a better life, and then she settled in Alex. Okay. So home, 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 between Newcastle and KZN. Okay. So when after grade six, I went to Newcastle and KZN, and I was told that I can't do my grade seven because my pass was way too well. Remember, I told you that I was never smart. Yeah. So I had to repeat grade six. <laughs> but I think that was a very big blessing, man, because that, that, like, that was a year where I actually got to wake up. You know when they take and just place you in a different environment? Mm-hmm. And I was from Dobek, so all of those kids were like, yo, she's mad, because they got from the gold. Mm. And I'm like, yo, that time, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm dumb, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, I had to really work hard in my academics so that I can reach that level that you say I was in. Mm-hmm. And I think things worked very well for me in KZN. Mm-hmm. Even though, again, when I got there, there was another family drama. It was just a lot, but... I managed to pass grade six with good marks, mm-hmm. and then I came back to Joburg again to do grade seven. Actually, <laughs> did it grade what? What grade seven in Joburg? <laughs> yeah, like grade one to grade um, seven in Joburg. Just that there was Some one problem. episode missing or another episode repeated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it was just that. Yeah. Then I went to Skien Primary School in Alex, uh, grade seven. It was a school. But a lot of failures. Mm. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you can imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's where it really I got this thing of this spirit of failing people, man. I think eighty percent of my exes are failing, man, and it's it's not like I like them. Why do you say eighty percent of exes? How many exes do we have? Don't wanna go there. Man, you you know what he told you before Yo, we started this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wanna go there, but I the more I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, I'm just a young nigga looking for love. There's nothing wrong with that. You're like, um, you're a cheese boy. Now you can call me a fuck boy. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that just—it's not a lot. Ten is not a lot, man. Just imagine. That's like an average of, I mean. <laughs> and you know, you know, this man, this man told you his age. <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> and then he has ten. Yeah. Have you ever lasted five months in a relationship? Yeah. Five months. Wow. Five months was the one. So the one in 2021. I lasted six oh, months. It was because it was a good, it was a COVID. Oh. <laughs> 2021. No, it, it wasn't really COVID in 2021. 20, the, so the one that I had in COVID, it lasted about four months. But I didn't. Me with the, like, we lasted four months with a girl. It was like hard lockdown. That's when like we had first got in. So what happened is that we made him Bram. It was March, early March. Mm. I think it was a week before lockdown. Mm. So I never even got to kiss that girl, man. Damn. <laughs> went on and dated for about i think it was four four to five months and then we came back to bam we had to end the, like the, the relationship i don't remember whether uh, whether or i think she ended it hey in in, in march in lockdown we're all getting people i remember getting this other one bro let's go back uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 from and then you did grade seven in, in the same school what are you in how old you can? Like, what's the name of the school? Grade 7. Yeah. Skien. Skien. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. No, it was a very, it was a local school. I don't know where they got that name. Oh, okay. But it was a local school. Okay. And then how did it go? 
it went well. Uh, I wasn't performing like a top performing learner, but mm. I was really serious with my academics and it worked in my favor. Mm. So it went well. I passed grade seven with decent marks and then I went to grade eight. And that's where I did my whole high school life in Alexandra's secondary school. Okay. Yeah. So take me through the journey of your high school, ne? grade eight to grade nine. How was you? How were you performing? Were you were, were you smart or you were still dumb? No, oh, grade eight to grade nine. I think that was a stage where I got possessed by this thing called adolescence or whatever. So in grade eight, I was too playful. Let me hold this thing for you. I think it's taking me time. Yeah. So in grade, but why don't you want to appear? I want you to appear also. People, ah, it doesn't want, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Why. So, um, so in grade eight, I was too playful, very playful. I, in, in the in the end, I got a, a condone. <laughs> As my, usual. Yeah, and my report was written condone. Yeah. So, uh, in grade nine. I was also very playful, mm-hmm. but I got a poor pass. I remember I didn't pass in maths. Mm. So I just survived because I passed all the other subjects. It's only two, it's three. Mm. Two, three, yeah. Mm. And then I passed. Yeah, reasonable. So uh, from passing level two, three, two, three, what did you do? What did you choose? What, what stream did you choose at your time? I choose general stream, geography, business studies. Um, geography, business studies, and what? That's it. Okay. So you chose, you chose maths, maths because maths dealt with you in the yeah like our like our like but that grade nine maths is very misleading because it's a combination of everything. I don't oh, even yeah. remember it. I just know algebra <laughs> x is equal to I my father there I used to see flames <laughs> flames. <laughs> flames. I do you say it. <laughs> so, uh, 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 from grade ten, how did you pass grade ten? So grade ten, I so in grade ten I met this other girl, uh, Usanele, my friend, mm-hmm. who was very influential. I think she started infusing the Bible in me, you know, all of those things. So I started <laughs> looking at life differently. Yeah. And a major turn in grade ten was that I, it was twenty fifteen. So I got diabetes out of nowhere. Why do you say out of nowhere? Because usually they'll tell you that diabetes runs in the family, man. You'll take it from your, your grand grandfather and whatever. But to me, it just came out of nowhere. So. Oh, okay. So, I, so because I was close with Sanele, uh, she, like, we do like our schoolwork every day. So, uh, my, my schooling life, that's when I think it took a turn. But I was still passing with level fours and all of that. And then I just got a level seven in history. Because I think I really loved history. Mm-hmm. I remember that I started loving it when I was in grade six, mm-hmm. social sciences. That's mm-hmm. why there's a teacher in the Kenya saying it's Mem Sakani. It's like, song. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, like she, I think she's the only teacher that knew my name in 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 in, in, in primary mm-hmm. to say there's a person called Stuello Kazi because I'd excel. And I would show interest in social sciences, oh. like as a subject. You understand? You understood who Hitler very much. Yeah. So. But the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> so in grade ten, final result, I got a level seven in history, and that is the first award that I've ever got in my whole school in life. Oh. Ever since I was in grade one, I never even got an award for cleanliness. Oh, okay, I was I was never clean. For no wonder you you are trying to. Catch up now. It's Look different at you now. now. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I got my first award in grade 10. Mm. Uh, and then grade 11, I also elevated and then I just shift from excelling in history to excelling in geography. Mm-hmm. To an extent that I was even tutoring or teaching grade 12 classes on map work mm. alone. Mm. So I was so good in map work. I, whenever I write a test, an exam out of 75, I'd always get 70, 73, 72. Yeah, you were not bad. Yeah, according to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'd, I, I'd go and 
teach the grade 12 like what are in grade 7 yeah because like mm-hmm. i withdraw my statements you're we, good <laughs> with geography like map work is the same thing the calculations are the same oh, okay. just that which in grade 11 uh they include some and then in grade 12 maybe like they include all of them in your exams and all of that but yeah. I, I used to know it because i used to study using the grade 12 yeah. uh mind the gap yeah. and i think <laughs> the reason why i studied a lot in grade 11 i think that was 2016 it was because at home things were really now getting tough yeah my stepfather had get got more deep into the the the, the, the text thing and mm. our life were at this man mm. i know after six we kill the gun in the couch like this no one goes out after six no, no one goes out after six it was too hectic man like it was very hectic so i would stay long hours at school i would leave when the workers not even the workers when the security now wants to close the school and close all the classrooms and that was day one and six and then i would get home around seven you know and then i get home i just go up the stairs because like our house was an rdp now so it was just round and up so i'd go up the stairs get into my room and just sleep you know and whenever they are now asleep downstairs, I'll go down and sleep. Yo, wasn't the gun traumatizing you? Remember, the gun is the one thing that took my father. And at some stage when I was young, I was in, like, there's some stage in my life where I was conscious that I could buy a gun. Buy? Buy who? I, like, I don't remember this other guy's name, but where we, where I stay in Alex, it's, it's a place where the just Zulus own. Maybe it's about is 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 in Kateng, in Kateng Freedom Park. Yeah. It's near the hostel, and Zulus are so obsessed with guns. So I think that guy was drunk. I was young. I was in a chair drinking water, and then he came out and then took out the gun and pointed at me. I don't know why. Mm. Then he just left. So your your step that never never did something like I wanna let me find a good thing in the world. You know, gangsta they love playing with the guns to a point where they can even make mistakes to flip me. Yeah, I know no. To me that didn't happen. Uh, okay, cool. So how was like you were still at grade eleven, right? So yeah. you, you were sugar diabetic at that point in time. Were you collapsing? How how was it affecting you in your real life? Yo, <laughs> uh, so in grade 11, I really never got to be affected. Grade 10, I never got to be affected much. Yeah. Grade 10, I was never affected because I think that's when I was after like I got it. So I was so scared. You know, when they tell you all of these side effects, what will happen if you don't take your medication? Mm. You're going to go blind, you're, you're going to cut your leg, your kidney will fail, and all of those things. Mm. So I was scared. I was taking my injection very well. Mm. Grade 11, uh, I was still taking it well, but I started now flopping, missing it. Mm. Grade 12, that's when things really, really, really got bad. Mm. First time I got hospitalized, I see you mm. a week and then the what, another week. So I spent two weeks in the hospital. Other kids are busy studying, and remember, it's first time. Mm. So the situation at home, so when I was doing grade 12, my stepfather had passed away. Oh, wow. So the situation is that now, his family took everything, took all the That's taxes, sad. took all the money, took all the tavern, all the businesses. They even wanted to take the house, but my mom fought for the house. My mom was like, you guys are mad. I have two kids with this guy. I'm pregnant with the third one now. So if you take this house, where am I going to stay? Yeah, yeah. So she won the house. Yeah. So we're now very poor at home. Yeah. Because my mom, remember, she wasn't working, she was depending on this guy who has money. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So now the guy is away, they took everything. It's all thing to say now, we must see on how we still go about life. Mm. They go with KZN. They take her as the breadwinner. She's not working, but she's the breadwinner. She's the one person in the family that's up there, you know. So things started going bad, man. I remember we used to survive off feeding scheme from school. So I take food parcels at school every Friday. I was sometimes I'll be the only kid that gets special food. You know, I think also it's because my teachers were aware that I'm diabetic, so I must have food supply, and okay. they were aware of the situation at home. Mm. So teachers, man, they even went over their limit getting me food. You know, there's uh, a teacher called Mem Mat. Mm. It's, it's Willis and. 
Really mad. Yeah. <laughs> so she used to man monthly she would give me like she'd buy fry packs for for me, mini meal and all of those things and then I'll I'll, I'll I'll take them home. I think that's where my passion for teaching even started growing to say my life was changed through teachers, you know. Mm-hmm. And I saw you know, on 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 how you are changed to a greater good so that's why I also put this in to say if I can also be a teacher, there's there's so many kids that are in my position or even worse, you know. So I think that's the thing that inspired me to be a teacher. So I went to no I the diabetic thing. So I went to hospital for quite some time. I came back and then <laughs> top of the class. Hmm. Okay, like, yeah, I think it was top of the school first term. Mm. Yeah. And then second term, the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I think the key thing that worked for me in grade twelve is the fact that I saw that now things are bad at home. Yeah. And I don't know what had happened in my life, but I was like, you know what, let me just work hard. Mm. It's not like maybe I watched a YouTube video or I spoke to someone, then I started seeing the light. I think it's something that just happened. And I told myself that I will work hard, yeah. you know. And remember that end of, like in grade 11, I said I used to stay long hours at school. Mm. So I think I continued with that thing. So when you stay long hours at school and you're still taking the term, you get to cover all the work, even the work that you'll be doing mm. next week. Mm. So I think that's how things happen. Team two, I would get hospitalized, come back, top the whole class. Mm. Team three, same thing happens. Sometimes ambulances will come. It was even normal to an extent that at school they knew that if there was an ambulance, it's here to pick up still. Yeah. Yeah. Team three, same thing happened. I'll get picked up by ambulances. I still taught my class. Mm. Final term, same thing happened. I remember the history exam. I wrote my history exam with a drip. Yeah. On my right hand, well, the hand that I used to write, I had a drip. So what happened is that I got to the school and I was like, ma'am, principal, I was like, ma'am, I'm not feeling okay. Mm. I don't think I'll be able to write this exam. Mm. Maybe I can during the day, but not now. She was like, okay, no, just go to hospital. You write next year. Mm. <laughs> when she saw those words, I was like, nah, next year. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean. uh, like, I was like, no ways, ma'am. I'm going to class. I'm going to write. She was like, no, no. I'm, going to go, but I'm like, ma'am, I can't write next year. I want to go to first. I can't write next year. Mm. You know, I, and then she was like, no, I'm calling the ambulance and, and, and all of that. I was like, hey, it's fine. She called the ambulance. I went to the classroom, the exam room. I sat there, like I sat down, waiting until I wasn't okay, so I was just sleeping. So people come, they check me, it's the paramedics, they're like, let's go. I tell them that I'm not getting into this ambulance, I'm writing the exam. And then the principal called people from the Department of Education. They came, they as like they assessed my situation, they said I, I, I would write in a in a separate class alone because mm. it's a special case. Mm. I wrote that exam for five hours. And I think the maximum was like was three hours, if not mistaken. I wrote yeah. it for five because I was writing with my left, and I, I'm weak. Because mm. when you have a drip, man, it's like there's something happening in your body because there's there's water coming in. Because I think what they're giving me is water. So when your sugar is high, they first give you like a lot of water to flush it out, mm-hmm. and then they can give you the insulin or anything. So I was weak, but I was writing, and mm. I actually got seventy final mark. It was seventy eight. Yeah. And I felt like I really deserved more than that. But obviously, my teachers were like, you're 78. You Actually, you should be clapping your hands because, man, other people wouldn't have done this. But I was like, nah, I and know myself. Some of them, they didn't do it. Yeah. Nah. So, hey, with diabetes in school, it was tough. It was tough. I was always hospitalized in and out. And it's even the same case here at varsity. You know, I was, a year doesn't end without me going to the hospital at least one sentiment yeah. yeah so um, how did you like what what was the great like bachelor diploma whatever uh, yeah I, I got a bachelor pass i got uh my result it was one level seven four, four level six mm. and two level five and both you, languages were level five <coughs> and you were admitted at that yes take us through that journey at that so I, when I applied, he had advertising grade there when I got rejected. They're like, my marks are not nice. The only nice thing remember was focus. Yeah. Math and physics and all of that. Mm. So now, Vets is sending out offers. In Alex, I became in the local high schools, I became number 14. Mm. 
so they are sending out offers they send an offer to a friend of mine whom i kept i i, I got better marks than him and i'm like eh, no offer for me still i'm like ah, i'm cursed yeah i'm cursed so i got the offer so i applied for teaching social work and law but i didn't have an, even a single interest in social work and law yeah. i only had an interest in teaching because of the impact that teachers had in my life mm -hmm. then i got to vet first year i was staying off campus yeah, I was calling first year because I had so many Calling means cutting, right? No, not parting. Parting, no. In, in first year, I was such a good kid. Mm -hmm. Not even a single outing, going out or anything. Mm -hmm. Things. Wait, first year of 2019, no? Or well, things started going bad in August, the weekend of the premiere, yeah. when it was my friend's birthday. Yeah. I, that's where I started parting. So you got the test first of year. parting. That's where I got it. Went to Santi and Roko Mamas yeah. to have the birthday dinner. Yeah. Then from there went to Alex and eat there. It was like a house party. Go yeah. cook food, eat there. And it was yes, just I've been missing out. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but it, it happened to say we like the vibe. We're like, well, we should do it again. We did it again next week. Yeah. I started also having friends. Then at like here at we were going out, started yeah. drinking and drum. Then ah, uh, from there, yeah. How did you pass first year? Uh, like my grades were very good. First year I was studying a lot. Mm -hmm. I'll go every day from 7 up until 12 or 9, 10. I'll go to the Vatican Wheeler Library, study, mm -hmm. go back to work. It was just like that. Yeah. Second year? Second year, uh, the second year I was staying in Drum Loft. So second year I was doing good. Mm -hmm. uh, everything was just okay. Just that the only problem was my health. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that yeah. Cool. So second year, I also started being strongly involved in politics. Which politics? So student politics. Uh, I I, oh, okay. I joined the. So in first year, I joined the EFF. Yeah. But I was not active because okay. the space was very scary to enter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I was just a, a member on paper, but because I remember I started. So the the first time that I went on the actual ground or. Started engaging with people of the EFF. It was in first year during the SRC elections when we were putting posters all over campus. It was that mm. morning where in 2019 everyone woke up, it was EFF posters the whole campus. I was there the whole night. Oh, yeah. And that was very scary because yo, that's when I saw that what I'm getting myself into hey, is something else. I remember we saw some other boys of SASCO taking out the EFF posters by the army tag. Mm. This one that was kicked here for a moment, we all thought that boy was dead. Yo, they're from Yale Village. So when you came and like, hey, fight us, went to them. So the other one, they just tripped in the first. When others ran, when the other one was trying to get up, oh, they kicked him here Yo. with a boot. Yo. We all thought that guy was dead. And for like a minute, like, it was like, cool. Yeah. And then he woke up and then he ran. I was like, no. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm getting myself into. Nah. Yeah, but so, did it stop you? No, it didn't. Because I remember from K12, I love history. Mm. And even in, from K10, I love history. Even in K12, I wrote the history exam with a mm. trip and then I still managed to get a good mark. Mm. So I loved the politics of black people and history so, so, so much. And when I got here, my history teacher told me that when you, go, when you get to varsity, the first book you must ever buy is I write what I like that to Chico because mm. he knew that I loved to Chico. Mm. So I started searching for something that was close to Steve Chico and mm. that thing was the EFF student command. Oh, okay. Okay, and then you, you passed second year? Second year I passed good mark. It was just that I was involved in politics. Uh, yeah, second so year was that, just smooth. So, so, so you said your health was also affecting you. Were you fucking a lot? First, First and second year. Mm. First year, that, that's when I broke my virginity. <laughs> oh, did I say that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm a late bloomer. I'm a very late bloomer. So in first year, that's when I broke my virginity. Mm -hmm. And the girl that I was dating really thought, man, I know it all. Because I, I like, was the guy who talked. Mm. Yo, me or talk. I would tell you about foreplay mm. as yeah. a game. Like, yeah, it's important and all of that. Whereas I have never 
So what I used to do, my brother, when he was in UK, mm. he used to come back and tell me all of these stories of, of what happens in the university. And then mm. I'll adapt it, and then I'll make it look as if I also do that thing. And it was the confidence. And yeah. Thing, you know? So like, I'm a cheater. Whenever they had an issue, a problem, advice, they just come to me. Hey, still, you don't understand. I'm telling you, no, but when you check out, like in the way, you can't. You don't do this. You don't. In the E, you see, like, you must make sure that before you don't just get in a girl and just go in. You must do this, touch her, and all of that. Mm. Whereas, man, I've never done that, and I started doing it in first year. And when I did it, my first time was a flop. Yeah. Johnny was like, I'm not coming. What? What did you say? I'm saying Johnny was like, he's not coming to the. <laughs> he was like, I'm not coming to the party. <laughs> so the point is that I'm just with this girl. It's my girlfriend. And we're dating, I think, for like a few months. Mm. So I kiss him, I kiss him, then my room, I kiss him. Then the, the next thing she's now going on top of me, okay, chap. It's normal, he, does, he likes to do that. He's so cute. Yeah. Hey, I see the person is now going deep. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. hey. So I. Him <laughs> <laughs> so I got too scared. Like I, like I started, like I was so, so scared. I was so overthinking my oh. brother. I was like, yo, now it's time. And this person thinks I'm a pro in all of this because the way it's I type speak to her you know touch mm. her so i sharp i realized that okay now it's the moment i'm like okay sharp if it's the moment then i see you're well, having a condom no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> so i as you say i pins down and all of that thing i'm supposed to put it in i'm using it in your bed his mouth you know when he's not strong, yeah, but he's not weak, yeah. But Johnny's just there. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> She's waiting for me. She's like, ah, nigga, put it in. Like, hey. I try to put it in. I hear, man, I'm busy, fetching no. it, but it's in, man. It's in. But, like but I can it, feel it, but it's not, man. Like, but it's not like, but you don't know the experience, you don't know what's happening. No, I know my thing. When you shower my brother, when you shower with hot water, then, then it goes down, you see you like oh. yeah. And I know it when you just try to play it yourself, you know yeah. when you it's like it's strong when and it's yeah. handsome. So when thing. I was there, hey, I was doing it. <laughs> I do it. Ah, nevertheless, you do it. Ah, she's faking moans. I'm like, hey, at ah. least you see, so I do it and then first round I'm done. I'm like I just sit in the bed, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. I want to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I know, in, in we cheer. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> ah, we just cut a room in bed. I don't remember if we did the second round or what, but from there, that's when I started improving. But I think that's the only girl, and I'll say it on camera. That's the only girl in my life that I ever get gave bad sex. Did you ever get my what? Bad sex. Bad sex. sex. After her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take no out a list of it now. References. <laughs> Even now, I'll give you a list of references you'll see. Mm. Yeah. After that, man. But doesn't this thing of saying people who are sugar diabetic, they have a problem of erection or blah, blah, blah. Like, you, don't you have it? If you don't, didn't it the view, didn't the view affect you mm. as an individual? Because, hey, yes, that's I become bad and I'm sugar diabetic. Didn't that affect you? But in first year, I used to use it as my excuse. Excuse, and I'll say okay, my, my sugar is low, like my sugar is high, man. So it affects my water. I was gonna just pull out screenshots from Google, mm. but that thing is really not true. It's only true when your sugar is bad. If you don't control your sugar, mm. it will affect all parts of your life. That's why, even now, when I do this, mm. can you tell the difference in my eyes? Yeah, the other one is red, red, red. Yeah, then the other one is clear. Yeah. It's because of diabetes, it's badly controlled. Oh. So, this eye is bleeding, in, both of them are bleeding internally, mm -hmm. but this one is getting worse. Oh, yeah. So that's why I'm wearing this thing because I'm not supposed to think it's light. Oh. So diabetes, if you don't control it, it'll kill most parts, all parts of your body. Well, it's not about the thingy thingy. It's everything. It's everything. So I think what the nurses and doctors use to now make sure that you control it, they tell you always to say, your performance will be bad. And as a guy, you'd be worried yeah, to say, yeah, yeah. if I have a bad performance, if one day I wake up and it, 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 it doesn't even erect at all. You know? mm, mm, mm. But it happens mostly when you reach the age of 30. So when, when you reach the, the age of 30 and your sugar is badly controlled by then, trust me, that's when you feel the difference. But now, as a young kid, mm. that thing, my brother, yeah, like it doesn't affect you. If you can get an honest nurse or doctor, mm. they'll tell you that for now you're still young. Your body is still strong and it's old. But as you grow up, it gets weaker. Mm. 
and when you don't make it stronger by taking your insulin, mm. that's when it starts killing. But when you're very reckless, it's fine. Yeah, I like I. Yeah. This guy man, mm. he can go to parties. Sometimes you see the way he is now. It means he's badly controlling. It was in the party yesterday. On Thursday, he was drinking. I was sleeping yesterday. Thursday, I was drinking. Yes. Yeah, he was drinking on Thursday. You'll find that he didn't take his injection. Sometimes you'll find that we are in a political rally. He's there, he didn't inject. Sometimes he's involved in strikes that need heavy energy. He's there. Sometimes he's on party, like everything. And then he collapses. So, the real reason why. Okay, so why. The thing is that. I feel like I was so affected when I was growing up to an extent that I don't know who solo is, mm. I don't know what self-love is, mm. I don't know what love is. Nah. That's why like you say I have many exes, I've seen it many people, it's because this thing of love, I try to build it off myself. It's like yeah. I try to create my own definition of love. Okay. And I think when I started realizing how the events in my life happened when I was in first year, that's when they really started to affect me. Okay. I started having mental health issues. I started having suicidal thoughts because I'm like, I never got loved. I was never loved. So what am I doing here? Hence, I usually say to my friends, I'm, my life, is like, I'm just freestyling. Mm-hmm. I don't have a plan of yeah. what's going to happen. If you can ask me, what are your goals in the next two years? I don't have one. And it's not like I don't want to tell you, I don't. Have. I, I'm just living, I'll see what happens. Five years is even worse. There's a girl that <laughs> there's a girl that you are sort of like talking and in, 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 in talking stages and then she was like, No, you know, I just want to have serious conversations. I'm like, okay, sure. She started asking me what do I want to do in life, what's my purpose, and where do I want where do I want to see myself in a few years? I got you that by that by those questions and had to end it. We ended whatever that we were trying to do. Yeah. Because she triggered something that I don't want to be triggered. If there's one thing that I hate, never talk about myself. If never talk about my mental health. I block all of those things. So I think it's just this thing of saying, I feel like my life is empty. You know, yeah. I'm trying so much to build it as much as I'm well known now. <coughs> And all of those MC, things, yeah, yeah. Like people are calling me left, right, and center for this, but deep down, if you can ask me, Stella, why are you doing this? Mm-hmm. I can't even say I'm doing it for my family because I never, like, I we never had that connection. You see, so I think that's why I'm, 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 I'm doing things recklessly the way that I'm doing. I'm just living. It's just freestyling because I feel like once someone. So this thing of life and suicide, man. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people say suicide is not normal, but I think I have a different view to that. I I feel like it's normal because mm-hmm. when you live mm-hmm. deep down inside you, you know why you're doing everything that you're doing. Yeah. Whether you're doing it for yourself, mm-hmm. your family, your mom, or whatever. Yes. That thing is giving you the purpose in life to yes. say you go and live and do anything. Yes. But on the other hand, if you ask me, I feel empty inside. And as much as you can say, okay, still here's the reason: love your mom. Or your mom, your family, your future, yourself, or even when you give me that reason on why I should live, I can try to take it and put it inside me. But it's not something that's internal, it comes from external. So when I feel empty, and then the reason why people end up taking their life is because in Pilo, this thing of life is not the same to all of us, man. Yeah. For Ricky Ricky, they might have had all of these fancy things, money, fame, right. and all of that. But if you'd have seen on how he was inside, maybe he feels empty. Mm. You know, maybe there was something that was just eating him. Mm. A lot of times, the youth, they say there are voices in your head, you know, things that when you think and all of that. Those things, man, those are the things that build your life. You might sleep at night, Gatle. When I sleep at night, when I close my eyes, I see the eyes of my dead father holding him like this. Mm. So you can't then tell me to say, no, don't kill, or, like, don't, don't kill yourself, be normal or whatever. Because we're not going through the same thing. And yeah. when you try to give me reasons on why I should live or what, you are just trying to instill that thing in me. And that's why it doesn't last. That's why when I get a girl and I feel like I love her too much, that love at first is like this. Mm. But as time goes by, I end up realizing that actually I need to have some form of love myself. And when you see her, I tell her that, you know what, I'm going through a lot. Can you please stop doing this? I need to focus on myself. And remember, a few months or a few weeks back, this person was the whole, like it was, 
that's just a topic for another day. It's just <laughs> no, I, I, but I, I started liking it because I'm I'm also struggling with this. Yeah, yeah. It fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but sometimes if I don't know. When people try to know you better, when they have those type of you know, those types of conversation, know about your mental health and everything about you, you know, mm-hmm. it puts them in a safer position to know the person they're dealing with. You know, so when you are in this state, you know, bro, okay, this is the person I'm dealing with. I'm not saying comment on that, but back to what we are, we are on. Third year, how did third year go? Third year, that was the year of COVID, 2020. Yeah, third year was, was very rough, especially with my mental health, because I think first first year, second year, I started knowing that I have issues that I have to face, because we also get into the space of university. Mm-hmm. You hear a lot of words like depression, and you're like, hey, actually, I've been depressed my whole life. Yes. You hear the word anxiety, <laughs> then you look and say, man, yesterday I was just feeling anxious because I was with my friends. All of a sudden, I just wanted to stand up and leave. So, third year, it was at the peak where I started knowing all of these things, you know. And I realized that actually I have serious issues and I had to go back home because we had got chased out, out of school. Mm. You know, hard lockdown and all of that. And it was very tough. I don't want to like you. It was very tough because I remember there was even a day where I ran away from home. So I started realizing that this thing of my father and me not knowing the whole truth around his death, as much as I may know, Mm. how they died, what happened, yeah. but I need to actually know the details. Yeah. Events say, Mom, why were you protecting me? Yeah. Why did I feel like I never got love? Yeah. So I one day I decided that, okay, you know what? I took my phone, I went to the recording uh, thingy, I recorded and then I went to my mom. And then I asked her to say, I, I asked her like a few questions about my father's death. And the way she spoke about it, it hurt me. So I just took my phone, took my charger and then I left at home. So it was very late at night, it was around 10. And by that time, Alex was a soldier on the street. Yeah. And when they would see you, mm. ah, child, it was- And it's going that, down. Yeah, like, <laughs> and, and there was that cave, and you, you knew that you were not supposed to be outside. Mm. So, <laughs> so I just went out, I didn't know where I was going. Mm. And I remember that I have an aunt somewhere in Alex, I went to her. Mm. So she's an aunt from my father's side. Okay. So she asked me, like, why, like, what's happening? Why are you here this late? Then I told her, she was asking me, you know what, just leave, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Yeah. Woke up tomorrow, we spoke about it and all of that. I stayed there for that day. Then the other day, I saw that it's like I'm inconvenient. Like, like, I'm, like you, you'd see when you see that, man, people are no longer that free. As much as they want me to be there, but it was no longer the same. You know, they have to add now one more meat when they cook. So I left and I went to Sunday, the girl that I told you about in yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to her home. I stayed there for like about, I think, a fair three days. Mm-hmm. So her mom, like, she knows me. So they gave me like a room outside. Mm-hmm. So I was just staying there. And then Misha had to go back home after like, I think, five days when I now had come down mm-hmm. and all of that. So it was very tough academics, network, and all of that. It wasn't. Things are just not okay, mm. but around July, that's when we went back to Bram. But yeah, academically, I still did very well. Uh, I passed with very great marks, and finally, uh, I was in it. Okay. Uh, oh, you passed the third year very well. Mm. Finally, uh, how was finally at the end? At the end. Yeah, like when you receive, you know, you know when you want to open your mouth, you know this is my final time. Like, what, 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 what feeling were you having at that point in time? Like, you open the mouth, you're expecting uh, qualification obtain is what is oh. that cute thing, and then you want to check the results, all oh, that move. So I remember, so when I received my marks for final year, I was in. Okay, the setting wasn't nice because I was in. So my friend, I think someone from her family had passed away, so I was there to support her. Mm-hmm. And then she, she like, hear people are saying the results are out. <laughs> and we're already in a setting where it's sadness. <laughs> <laughs> and yo, when I wrote my final exam, it was going down. Yeah. yeah like the Zwa, like the Ziwa. So, and you qualified with good marks as well. 
Yeah. So when I like I was so scared because now the thing is that I didn't write my final English exam, which means I've got a zero for it. Yeah. And yo, oh, so finally a lot happened because oh, so I was expecting that I I I I was gonna pass the modules that I wrote that I did, mm-hmm. but there were two modules that were going to. I was going to drop. So on English, I was expecting that okay, I'll fail English. Mm. I'll have to repeat this. Mm. Then there's another elective that I, I did half of it. So I was expecting, like I was also thinking that I'll have to come back this and do it. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm repeating. I'm coming to Vets again for the last yeah, time. Yeah, and 2021 is the final day of the new year. Yes. And we're recording this thing is 2022. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if if you don't get it, forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get that. <laughs> so yo, I get my results, I open them. Mm. So I, I was doing like five modules. I see pass, 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 English, pass. Hey. I got fifty-two. That's fifty-one. Mm. I'm like, eh. So when I first so it I skipped that part where you told me the status. Like, yeah. So I hit it like with my point when because like when you go to your self-service, it shows it's that the status, yeah, first. the status first before you see the marks. Mm. So I closed that pass because I didn't want to see the status. I was like, let me first see the marks. Yeah. And then I will tell myself that, okay, you are repeating. Mm. So when I saw pass, 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 I'm like, ah, status. <laughs> like, uh, completed uh, requirements, oh, for, requirements for this one. Yo, yo, yo. I cried. Yeah. I think my friend even like has the pictures of me now. Mm. Like I was crying. I, I stood down. I was like, Mbui, if you know, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. If you know for how things were going, yo. I mean, you didn't write an exam. I didn't. You so, <laughs> but when I passed, a few hours after that, something else started now to be a problem. Yeah. I wanted to qualify for my honors, and it's 65. And because I didn't write this exam, I got 52. Yeah. My average dropped to 63. Yeah. So I know I don't qualify for honors, and I don't want to do this. Because the reason why I was so comfortable in saying that I am repeating two modules because I, want, I still wanted to come back to Bram oh. and leave for the last time. I just wanted to be young for the last time before I got into the world. What do you mean of being young? Like in like Bram is one space where you really get to be yourself. Oh, okay. That's one thing that I like about Bram. You see people wearing things that. Someone might say that not normal, but that person is being themselves. You know, yeah. you get yeah, a, you're, you're very right. You know why? There's a guy that is shooting us now. <laughs> 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 exactly. You know, so when you go to Kian and then like I just wearing like baggy pants and all of that. People are gonna say, "Hey, that's how I'm gonna... <laughs> you see? <laughs> now like you." So Bram is one space where you really get to be yourself. And I think that's why I you see more people, you know, coming out of the closet, if that's what they say in in, in nowadays. Mm. It's because you realize that your whole life you wanted to be this person, but you couldn't be that person because of the boundaries that you've had. Yeah, I get it. So Bram, you get to live, you get to be yourself. There's each and every resource that is available. Mm. Someone will come here and say, I want to be, I'm a, like, I want to do actual science. And that person might even switch from actual shared vets and go to photograph at Boston. Yeah. Because they've realized that, that that is one thing that I want to do. Actual is what my parents wanted me to do. So that's what I wanted to have to say. Let me just leave for the last time. Let me be young for the last time before I can actually start going to the work environment, yeah. teaching, and doing all of this. Honest thing. Honors, yeah, I, 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 I got into honors, so I think, so I got, I, I, I got a rejection letter for, for honors, mm. but your marks are, are, are what, what, but I was like, no, I'm a comrade, <coughs> I, there's no way I can be a comrade from first year, <laughs> up until final year, yeah. and then I don't even have a single benefit, nah. so I went and spoke to some people, and all of that, I, I obviously I can't reveal that process. Yeah, I know. But I, 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 I got my honors offer, and now I'm doing my honors. Wow! Congratulations, yeah. that. How was the graduation, Mama? Yeah, she was there. She was there. Oh, um, you know Tonga now. I, like I, I can hear all the languages, but I can't respond. Oh, okay, cool. Because you know me, I love Tonga. Man, even Tonga woman, you must get. 
<laughs> you have to make a plan. <laughs> Yeah. I'll try to, I'll try the one that says banana to now. You and I know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's an inside joke because to say <laughs> uh, So yeah, uh, like I can hear song, uh, I can hear Venom, yeah, but I, I was the mood with mommy there. Like yo, like. It was very like it was very nice, man. Because mm. I think over the years I started realizing that my mom is all that I am. So, thank you. So, like I've been trying to build the relationship, even though it's not perfect. Because like, yeah. I remember in first and second year I used to try and buy this material, this material, this fake stuff. Mm. Like it was my first time getting a, a birthday, like a birthday gift when I was in my second year. Mm. Got like a bag and all of those things. Mm. But I realized yeah. that. Hmm? By her or by someone else? By her. I bought oh, her a bag. Oh, you bought her? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So it was just because I, I, I realized that when after my stepfather left our life, she was the only one left, man. She was trying to feed us, and it was, life mm-hmm. was hard for her. Mm-hmm. So I, it's like I never saw any reason on why I should now try to be against her or anything. Mm-hmm. So having her in my graduation, so. I invited her and my little sister, but my little sister couldn't come because she had a, she has a very uh, thing. She has a, a baby boy who's still very young to be left with someone else. Oh, okay. So my mom came alone, <coughs> and I think I saw it in the, like in her eyes that she's proud of who I became, like the man that I am. And I think she also got to see on. The kind of person that I am when you put me in front of people, especially mm. students. Because mm. I remember when I was coming out, <laughs> Bompo, Arankapuli came, and then he grabbed me and put me here. All uh, soldiers of the EFF were there. And yeah. that, as a parent, you get to see that actually oh. I didn't just raise anyone, but I, I, I raised someone who, in the community, they're making a change, man, yes. you know, that values. Mm. And I think she saw that because we know they're singing Gijo mm. after like getting our degrees, me, Pumzi, like Gabriel, and other fighters in the front. Mm. She really, like, she was proud, you know. Yeah, yeah that was so yeah. Good. Congratulations on the honors. Congratulations on your, on your degree, man. It was a very difficult journey for you personally. But the second last question uh, who are the four friends who you want to give them a shout out? Number one, Sane. Cheers, <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 So yeah, shout out to Sane Lesbuka. I think if she wasn't here, things would have been the same for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Silo Makwana, mm-hmm. uh, my brother, my boy, we've been together, been here since great 10, mm. up until now. Mm. Shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mungi also, I think he played a very huge role in making sure that I balance between academics and politics because in the past four years, politics has been a very huge part of my life. Mm-hmm. Always on strike, always going strikes, partying, mm-hmm. academics. It was just those things that we did so we had to maintain that balance. Mm-hmm. So shout Despite out to the fact that you are from different political parties. Yeah, that has one one thing that people kept on saying that you are EFF is up, but how do you guys do it? It's just recognizing the fact that before we choose how we live our life, what we believe in, what we Yeah, you know, so there's nothing wrong by seeing a ZTC person and a Nazarene person, right? They go to different churches, but at the end of the day, that yeah, maybe. I, the reason why I, 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 I was like that for a moment is because I don't know anything about church. I wonder when you said that, I was like, that's a real church. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe if you would have told me about, maybe to say if you drink gin and the other one drinks water. Yeah. Like, ah, see, no, well, it would be a good day. example. Someone drink yeah. gin and someone drink black label, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, but black label is wrong. But there's nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And the then one. Uh, the other one, yo, Lerato, Rato, uh, yeah, Lerato, Rakao. She's been there for me, man. We've been at it. 
the met, get to get. Yeah, met her in first year. Mm. Uh, became friends, became close friends, and in whatever, like We're she made friends. sure she made sure that I never sleep on an empty stomach since from first year. Mm-hmm. That's one person that I know today. Even if I keep all my allowance money, even if whatever would happen, when I say the right one, I'm hungry. She would say I didn't cook, but come to cook. She has money to <coughs> buy something. So such people, man, it's very rare to 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 meet. Abantu, abantu, the people who don't even count to say it's been the whole week you eating my mother's. Mm. That's what's wrong with you, mm. you know. So it's not easy to have such people in your life. And I think I got to be someone who's kind, and it's, it's, it's one of your kind, and I appreciate her a lot. Mm. Lastly, um, there is Kelo Gazini Jr. There's what? There is Kelo Gazini Gazini. Oh, Gazini no, please don't say Jr. Because now I'm thinking that you're saying I have a son somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you're in such a school. Let's not talk about those two. You never, even you were younger, such a kid. You were never still playing around. You're not serious, man. I'm kidding. Do, do, do you have one? one? Eh? Do you have one? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you are just a camera. Uh-uh. Man, so, that's on that. so uh, my man, uh, there's a skello gazide, like 13 years back now, 13 years ago, in the same situation. What can you say to that person as we close it off? Yeah. I'm probably better with advices, but I think that person knows deep down on what they have to do. Yeah. And I think they must just be patient with the process. Mm-hmm. I would have gave up when I was 10 after I found out that my father died. Mm-hmm. I would have said, fuck everything. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know how I felt. And then I just continued. So I think having this thing called patience in life and just make giving everything time, you know, mm-hmm. I think in the end it will work out for you. Because even like we all have some kind of pain that I was going through just yesterday or today in the early hours. I couldn't sleep because this eye was giving me a headache. And I would have decided to say, you know what, let me drink drink or whatever and just stop all the pain. But I was patient. So I think just think true to yourself, man. Isn't though don't really last for long. Even if there'll be heavy <coughs> rainfall, it can rain for the whole week, but at some time it will stop. So I think just giving everything the time, you know, let things just, let processes be. Don't rush anything. Don't try to lock mm. or just try to be bigger than the situation sometimes. Allow yourself to be. And that's one thing that I've did and people never understand. Yeah. I think even you at some point will tell me that I write everything on my or, or, or on my WhatsApp status to say, even if I feel suicidal, I'll write to say, I'm feeling like that. People who try to block you and say no, don't do it. But I don't. I don't believe in that. I believe in honesty. I believe in allowing yourself to be in every process that you are in. Feel what you are feeling through. Like feeling. Don't block it in any way. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what I would say. To say, go hammer, hammer, tell a walk in the Like I hear you. Yeah, it's be selling. So yeah. Yeah, as I close off, there is this other time I asked you, why do you always write your suicidal thoughts on your status? And then you said, um, a lot of people commit suicide because these feelings they bought in within themselves, yeah. they don't take them out. Yeah. So I went, and then I ended, I ended up understanding, oh, sometimes when you speak about something, it doesn't matter on what platform you speak about the thing. It depends on how you take everything out of your body and put it on your mind <coughs> and put it out there. That's how you express yourself. So I really understood why you were doing that thing. Eh, my baba jarukula im bacha danuna city, Yumanim Amkalaga, the channel that made us anum palirisa, the channel that made us the most. Eh, walava, our love, it is uku, hooray. So, you know, this man, this man, before, before, like, we started this, as we were coming, he's like, man, don't get emotional when we get there. I had to leave because I, I was like, nah, man, I'm going to best and I don't want this.